Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our spark timing table and our modifier tables. So when we want to go in and tune our spark timing, we're going to be using this main spark timing table. It's going to be based on load and engine RPM. It's going to be very straightforward to tune. We're going to be taking a look at how to do some editing in our main spark timing table as well as our modifier tables. Now our modifier table is going to be based on engine coolant temperature and an intake air temperature and they're going to be allowing us to offset our spark based on whatever kind of conditions we're going to be running our engine in. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at our ignition timing table and our modifiers in this video. So this is going to be looking at how the mega square is going to work with our spark timing and all the details that we need to know. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is jumping into ignition settings and then going down here to ignition table one. This is going to be our main spark timing table. Now in this configuration we can see that the load input here is going to be uh, the KPA or the MAP sensor input and we're going to be finding it goes from 100 KPA down to 20 KPA. We're able to edit the breakpoints however we like and we can see that the bottom row here is going to be on the engine RPM. So it's going to be very similar to our main fuel table um, depending on how our fuel strategy is going to be set up here. If we go into fuel settings main table here, we can find that the breakpoints on our fuel table are going to be uh, virtually identical to the breakpoints here um, on our ignition timing table. Now it should be noted that the fuel table has more data points in it than our spark timing table. So if we're comparing how many data points we have here, we have more um, in our fuel table. So one thing I want to point out here before we go any further, we are able to have different load inputs to our ignition timing table, just like we found in our fuel table. If we're looking at those different fuel strategies, this is going to be in speed density mode. So we can see our fuel load is in KPA. That's reading from our map sensor, speed density mode. We're also going to find that we have that percentage barrow, where we compare the barrow pressure to our map pressure. And we're going to be finding that it's going to be reported in our fuel load. Now, there's no reason to set our ignition timing table up like that. And when we were in our TPS mode, 